My media habits involve being connected all the time. I never really miss uh, a Facebook update. Hello. With a smartphone, computer, cable TV, Netflix, ebook reader, and iPod, there is never a moment that Julie Roberts is without a tether to the digital world. Well, almost never. Maybe when I'm making dinner for my family or sleeping. Yeah, there aren't a lot of hours that I'm not. So nine of the buffalo. As the owner of a small business with two locations, Julie finds staying connected imperative to good customer service. It means she's always able to read emails and fill orders without delay. Yeah, I'm pretty much never not connected. And Julie says she's able to handle it all, the barrage of information and updating. It's never a problem or even much of a thought. I don't really ever feel overwhelmed by it. Julie is one type of new media consumer, says Dr. Daniel Panici, an mm -hmm. associate professor of communication and media studies at the University of Southern Maine. Panici says Julie is someone who does not replace one type of information stream with another. Instead, she augments it. What we're finding is we're not displacing, we're multi media tasking. Uh, you know, so this media multitasking becomes very important. Reading a newspaper while checking Facebook, talking on the phone while watching TV and reading an ebook. They can do it all at once with success. But Panici says there is a real world trade-off. Constant media consumption means less time for exercising, meditation or religious worship, or face-to-face -face human interaction. So you can master media multitasking and so now I'm, but I'm still using media eight, nine hours a day. Um, you know, how am I gonna you know, get those interpersonal relationships? Are those important to me? Those are the kind of questions that we have to start asking ourselves. In Julie's opinion, Facebook replaces the old fashioned relationship, something she's okay with. I feel like it makes a nicer sense of community. Um, seeing people, being able to say hi, feeling comfortable with that. But not everyone is comfortable with that or the seemingly unlimited number of options for receiving information. So there's this notion of what's called narcotizing dysfunction, that there's so much, I don't know who to believe, what to believe, how to act on the information. I just become paralyzed, uh, sort of that information overload. And for those overwhelmed by all the technology we seem to believe is impossible to live without. There are other people who go, that's too much. I, wanna, I, wanna, I need to unplug. Julie Roberts, however, probably won't be one of them.